Dun, dun, dun. Uncle Ale here. We're going to go over the bobber, ice fishing bobber series. So, you got your two types. You got your string one, which I hardly ever use. There's a way to tighten that on. Some guys are swear by the string ones. Comes with a little thing. And then you got your rubber stops, which I'm a big fan of. So generally, when I'm running this setup, I like two bobber stops up here because it always catches when it goes into the reel or goes into the eyelet. So you can't really use a spring bobber on this setup because it'll catch and you'll keep reeling. It'll still let you pull in the fish, gives you a little resistance, but ice build up, what not right there. So it's generally good to have a big eyelet. So something like that, you can just zip right through. The reel plays a factor in there. This should easily wind up and get through there. Yep. So your system should look something like that. So this is about, the reason why I use a bottom one is you can put it about an inch, two inches away from your jig down here and it doesn't foul up and it keeps the bobber away. Cause this will go all the way down into the jig knot and then get snagged up if you don't watch out. The top one, that's just to see your depth. So it'll just water rise up. So in my case, where this excelled, so this should be okay. I don't think that bobber stop will get snagged up in the bottom one right there. So that should be okay. On the spinning reels, it sometimes catches right there or on the top eyelet. But usually it just wraps around no problem. Uh, some of your inline stuff where it goes through a narrow thing, probably no go, no go on spring bobbers. So, this one from the jig, one to two inches from the bottom on your bobber stop. You got your bobber, your plastic slider, and uh, there's your top one. So this one can go 50, 20, 10 feet, wherever you find the fish. So in this case scenario, a week before, two weeks before, had too much to drink, put my uh, fish finder in a plastic bag. So I don't know if I lost it on the lake or I threw it away with the rest of the garbage. Who knows? learned a lesson so I was going blind flying blind without a fish finder so what I did is I was filling bites at about 25 feet I didn't know that I didn't have really a measuring tape but I would feel a bump and it was so soft so what I did is I set up the bobber next fish I caught around 25 feet I didn't reel in and I just backpedaled and I just drew a line in the snow with my boot. So me and the other person I was with would set our bobber stops right there. And if it caught on the reel or it caught on the top eyelet, we could just measure it out from the hole, put our bobber right here, and then just go right there and say, oh, okay, there's our starting point. But if you have a fish finder, you can just set up the bobber. Pretty much if you got a fish finder, you really don't need the bobber system because you're just going by feel. But the bobber is a valuable tool. That day was high wind. And I believe this is the actual bobber I used. So I had two jigs tied on, hunting for perch. They were suspended about 25 feet using that one. And one more jig just to get a little bit of weight down. And what happens when I threw on the other jig this sort of submerged so this ended up in the hole maybe about an inch inch and a half down in the water which was a good thing because we had gusts blowing up to 20 miles an hour if I had this on top it would move around with the water but this actually dragged down caught on the top bobber stop and just sunk just below the water and so when I would get a bite it would just slowly they were just barely biting it so, and it would drag it down, and then I would set the hook. So, sometimes it's a violent bite, but in this case, it was just 
dragging onto it like that. Set the hook, killed it. Yep, no one around us was catching anything. So, that's the concept on that one, a little plastic thing. I believe this is Chico's. I'll draw out a package here in a second. Um, different kind of bobbers. I really haven't used this one, but I'm guessing that one's probably for a 64 ounce, pretty light. And then maybe that's a heavier jig. And this one's universal. I went through and bought a whole bunch of <laughs> just ice fishing bobbers. I never really used this setup, but they carry these at Wally's. You got the light thing. I'll show you that in a second. So your bobber stops, you got your rubber ones. That one's overkill, but that's just an example. You got your string ones. Some people swear by those ones. And uh, these ones right here. I use these ones 99% of the time. Just easier for me. Pretty much the same concept. good thing about this you could stick in a glow stick pop the glow stick use that in your tent when you're night fishing um, this snaps off quick uh, I should just pop back on Let's see if I can get this you can use the non weighted smaller ones the weighted I like the weighted ones because it seems just no resistance it just automatically drops versus the weighted if it has too much buoyancy so on the bottom I usually stick one bobber stop on the top I stick two that way they interlock when you reel it through the eyelet or through the reel it's less likely to jam but usually it gets caught on the top eyelet it doesn't give you that much resistance and then it slips and then it goes in but you lost your spot so that's why I marked in the snow so on the same system you can use the lighted one that's my preferred method that's my go-to bobber the Mr. Crappie with the little light stick up top uh, you got this one I haven't used these I might have to just try those essentially if you have a fish finder you're not using them anyway but, in my thing, I have the bobber stops. I don't know if you can order these online. But there it is, Chico's Bait Shop. And that attaches on the bottom of any size bobber. So you can have, I don't know, a 1 16th, maybe a heavier jig. And as long as you got the bigger bobber to compensate for that, you can actually run it up. Uh, Chico's clip for something. Yeah, that's $1.99. Well worth the money. I got some beads in there. Hardly ever use those. My bobber stops. An assortment of uh, bobbers. Those are a little small. I never use those, but they're cute anyway. But that's pretty much my ice fishing setup. I don't go to this all the time, but that's pretty much a gander of it and the nice thing about these is you can clamp these onto any bobber you choose so if I have to go bigger bigger jig that might support the weight the more buoyancy you got maybe use that one for a way heavy jig so you can fine tune it and I think the way you fine tune these is so I'm guessing with this Venom setup, the 1 64th is a smaller one, so you get your scissors and cut that down to that size. This one also has a weight added to it, and maybe you could put in a bobber stop up, or a glow stick up there, but then that would probably be your heavy. So, they came with some little plastic duda. I don't know if this is for more weight to dial it in. Let's see. Huh. Well, I babbled on too long, but a good setup to have in your system. 
like I say, night fishing, you can go ahead and pop that open in a tent. Then you can watch for the light strikes. Uh, great for beginners. Unless you have an ultra fine tip set up, you're not going to feel most of the bites. So, hope that helps. Uncle L's out.